Hey guys, Yig here. Today I'm going to play a little bit of Faster Than Light, and uh, first thing I'm going to do here is a real quick episode that's just going to be the tutorial. That way when we go into the game we're not going in blind, and I may play a game in between just to make sure I'm not coming in completely blind. So, here we go. Let's go to the tutorial. This game is a oh, available on Steam, good old games, and I'm not sure about Desura, but I'll put the Steam link down in the description below. So, let's get started on this. This is a... Okay, there we go. Welcome to FTL. You're the captain of the Federation Starship on a very important mission. The Federation is currently being torn apart by vicious rebel ships just carrying data vital to the defense of the Federation. All right. You'll be traveling through dangerous sectors of the galaxy with the rebel fleet in hot pursuit. Make it to the exit beacon of each sector before the rebels catch you. All right. <clears throat> ship is the Kestrel. is the focus of the typical game view. A lovely ship. Circular icon at the bottom of the screen are your ship's primary systems. Systems use power from the reactor. So those are primary systems and the reactor. Subsystems do not use power from the reactor. That's kind of handy. And when you hover your mouse, oh, these are the subsystems. Over each system, they can tell you what they are. We have door control, sensors, piloting, weapons, obviously. Med bay, oxygen generator, engines, and shields. All right. Uh, hull meter and shields. So we got our shields and our hull. And we also have fuel, missiles, drones, which we have none of, scrap. Uh, it looks like we have some combat stats over here for an evade chance and the percentage of oxygen in the ship. <laughs> That's a handy thing to know. Hull meter is reduced to zero. Your ship will explode. Okay, we should get going, but it looks like your engines are offline. Green systems are powered. White systems are powered down. Okay, so there they are. Engines are powered down. Uh, left click on them to power them up. All right, we've got them powered. Uh, we'll power them all the way up. Uh, left click on your engine system icon and power will transfer from your reactor to your engines. And try to keep your vital systems fully powered. Right click on the system's power if you want to depower it. Oh! Oh no, your engine control room took two damage. Its system icon has become red to show it's broken. Hull meter is also taken two damage. Crew can not repair the hull, but they can fix the engine. Okay, that's good. Select your crew members using left click or select multiple crew members uh, by. Warcraft style. So, okay, then let's send everybody down there. S send your crew! We'll send them in. The Repair Brigade! Everyone, get in there! Rawr. Lots of bridges. Alright. Awesome, and interesting now. Notice your repaired system will automatically try to recover the power. Oh, back to what they were set at. That's nice. And some systems can be manned by a crew members to provide additional boosts. Okay, so anything with that. So let's go ahead and continue. Oh, there's a fire. Open the airlock doors. Okay, open those. All right. Let me take this guy right here. And that is a crewed system. And that is a... Is it a crude system? I don't know. This is definitely a crude system because I got that icon right there. So let's send that guy over there. All right, room strength tank, oxygen. Uh, we should probably close the doors. All right. Oh, so oh oh, so that required a guy here. So that was already good. We got a guy there. That works. Let's power that up. Oh, there is a dude there. So there should be a guy there. All right, good. I got him in the right places. Uh, each of them consumes one fuel. There we go. Without fuel, you'll be stranded. Click jump to continue. Jump. All right. Um, let's go this way. Each new location will have an event like this. You multiple choices. Special blue choices are unlocked by having certain upgrades or equipment. So, let's take a blue one. Uh, try to pause the game now. All right. Pause, 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 pause. To power your weapons, already did that in the last place. Left click on it to power it, and right click to depower. Okay, well, it's powered. Then left click on it, uh, or hit the one key. Okay, one key. There we go. 
and we will shoot at his shields. And unpause. So now we just wait for it to power up and shoot him. Alright, and... Oh, hold on. Oh no, your two-shot laser cannot penetrate the pirate's level two shields, but luckily he can't get through yours either. Every two power bar in your shield system nets you one more shield. Okay. Oh, so I have two, so I only have one shield. He has two shields. You can get him a missile launcher now. Shooting the missile expends your missile launcher. Okay, so we'll power that up. And then uh, use the missiles to damage his shields. So we'll just go ahead and target his shields. Okay, there we go. And let's target... Uh, let, yeah, let's just stay out of shields. That way my lasers can get through to the hull. Where should I shoot? The hull. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. Uh-oh. You, sir, are dead. Okay, so we get uh, 100 scrap and a halberd beam. Alright, oh, okay, so weapon drones are added as your cargo, if there are no more room in the respective systems. Okay, so if I had room, I would have just equipped this, so it's uh, not saying to replace that, so let's replace that, at least that's what I think. Uh, equipment screen, click and drag to replace your, okay, so we've done that. And Howard Beam shoots... Reduced by one, but it does two damage. Low chance of breaching. It requires three power. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Alright. Oops, your ship sit weapon system, max power two. Okay, so continue. Add power. Accept. Ah, so now I can power that. Final tip, you can rearrange your weapons in the weapon system toolbar by clicking and dragging if weapons are subject to damage. The order determines the order they are depowered in. Oh, that's handy. So, they depower from here this way. That could come in handy. That's it for the basics. Good luck out there. Continue to quit the tutorial. Okay. Well, that takes care of the tutorial, guys. And we'll come back in the next episode with episode one of the actual game. Playing through. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day, everyone.